Welcome back to Rug Time Toys, your home for all things toys, collectibles, and games. I have a huge batch of Transformers, Rescue Bot, and Cyberverse One Step Toys to show you guys today. We got Wheeljack, Soundwave, Salvage, Bludgeon, and Blur. All right, so uh, please don't forget to like, hit that little subscribe button in the corner, and let's get started. Rug Time Toys. I'm super excited to do this unbox and un uh, whatever unbox and review of all these Transformers One Step toys. Uh, I've had them for a little while. I wanted to take them out of the package again. Let's just go over who we have: Soundwave, Wheeljack, Blur. Uh, this is Salvage from Rescue Bots Academy and Bludgeon from Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. So uh, we'll probably save him for last, Bludgeon. So stick around to the end of the video to see Bludgeon. I think he has the coolest little feature there so you'll have to wait to find out what that is but let's start out with sound wave here so here's the packaging really cool little uh drawing up there at the corner we'll turn around the box to see what he turns into it looks like a cyber truck with an easy one-step transformation all right here he is up close and personal one of my favorites sound wave uh the original sound wave actually has a tape deck that you stick a cassette tape in and out of his chest, which some of you watching this video probably already know. But this looks like a really cool cyber truck. And uh, blue, gold, and red. I think you open it right here on the front, if I remember correctly from the packaging. Yep, there it goes. So it unhinges, kind of gets stuck. The feet kind of fit into the bottom here. And then when you open him up, ooh, his arms pop out. That's cool. You see him popping out right there. I love that little motion. Very cool looking. Transformers Cyberverse Adventures One Step Toy. Here's a real close up look of them. Awesome looking. Very, very cool. I love these One Step Toys. They're so much easier than 25 steps. Look at, he's got like this crown on top. His head wiggles a little bit. The king of the Decepticons, other than Megatron, maybe. All right. Uh, so let me try to do that transformation one more time. Oh, wow. Okay. You can actually see the head is on like this little rocking motion stick there and then it kind of folds him up inside and then the feet fit right here in the center and it kind of pops right in and there you go another very easy one-step transformation i love it these things are so easy to open and close i love that because i, I wrestle so much with some of these transformers if you guys have a tough time trying to turn your transformers from uh vehicle into robot mode you let me know that aren't one-step toys because I'd be interested. So put that in the comments below. Here's Wheeljack. Looks like he's some kind of a race or rally car. There's his one step. It almost looks like sound waves. It looks like he has a blaster that shoots something out too. All right. Here's that awesome looking race car. Let me try to fit the, uh, the hood in. Make sure it fits in. Yep. Okay. Much nicer. Cleaner. Cleaner look now. He's an Autobot. I like the white with the... Uh, green and pink and red that looks really really cool stands out from all the other transformers all right let's so let's open up that hood so as we pull them back let's see kind of like sound wave the arms open up a little bit this one's a little more difficult a little trickier i've noticed that maybe one or two of these one step toys are actually a little harder to open than just that one step but let me try to get a close-up look of his face really cool looking watch where you're pointing that thing all right, and then his feet are down here. It's a really cool looking design. I like it. It's just not as one steppy as I would hope here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing. It also reminds me of like a Bakugan, how you have like multiple pieces that you have to try to fit together. I do have a couple Bakugan videos that you can check out in my, uh, in my toy playlists. So check those out if you have time, if you're into Bakugan. It's basically like a transformer ball. All right, yeah, this one's really difficult to put together. I'm having a lot of trouble. I would maybe not 100% recommend it if you're looking for an easy transformation with one step. All right, let's see. Let's try this little rocket thing now. Let's see if, where the button is to try to blast it out. I'm gonna blast sound wave here. I don't know, it's not working. The button looks like it's right here. It's just kind of pushing out the, the little rocket here. Does it not? blast out that's weird all right i thought it did so here's the button see i press it let me try to like maybe maybe you just have to like flick it to make it shoot out nothing it just kind of came out a little further but didn't actually like fly out towards sound wave let me try again 
Nope, it stayed in there. That's weird. Let me see on the back of the box. It's it looks on the back of the box like uh oh, little deceit little deception over here should have been a Decepticon. Look at yeah, it's stuck. It doesn't come out. That's all it does. Yeah, this isn't a very cool one. You flick it and then it just kind of comes out. I thought it blasted something out, which would have been even better. But nope, this is what it does. Let me do it again. Boop. See, it doesn't even come out all the time. You gotta get lucky. There you go. Nah. I mean, he's cool looking. I just wish they would have maybe designed him a little bit better. So maybe skip that one, unless you think he's really cool and he's one of your favorites. Now we'll move on to Blur, our Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures one step toy here. Really cool looking. If you guys watch that uh, series, I think some of this, uh, some of the seasons are on Netflix. Okay, so he kind of looks like a race car, like Wheeljack that we just saw. He's really neat. There's his Autobots logo. He's all different shades of blue. All right, let me try to transform him. He had an interesting looking transformation on the back of that box. I didn't quite understand it. So let me figure this out here. I am not understanding what is going on. Where is his head trying to pop out from here? I just, okay, so again, this doesn't really look like a very easy one step. So if you're looking for those, pass it up. But if you don't mind a little bit of a challenge, then this one's for you. It is not super easy. All right, come on. Oh, there, there goes his head, I think. Yeah, almost. What is going on? All right, let me try that again. Just see if I can figure out what the motion is. So it looks like you gotta like open up the arms and legs and then maybe push up the head at the same time. I'm wondering, come on. Ugh. Pardon the interruption. There we go. All right, his head's popping up. I promise he will transform. Look at that, there we go, we got it. Okay, maybe you just gotta get used to it. But anyways, very cool. He's got these little pieces that flip out to make him uh, stand up a little easier. His arms, I believe, fold in and out as well. There's a close-up look of his face, which is cool. He got a little smirk. Took me a couple minutes to get that one open, but yeah, more peg holes for the arms, which I wish they came with accessories to stick in, in their hands here. And then we'll just try to figure out how to pop him back into his vehicle mode if I can. Probably just as difficult as when I tried, hey, we'll just leave them like that. Make it easy so I don't waste more of your time. Okay, now we'll move on to Salvage, the Transformers Rescue Bot Academy teacher one-step toy. So I saw this one in Books A Million, actually, if you can believe it. They even have some Transformers one-steps in Books A Million. Not only do they have it in Walmart and Target and all that other place, the bookstore. Not the place you would think to go find toys. There you go. I will actually, those are all the students. I'll leave, I'll leave a uh, link in the uh, description below as well as a card at the end to show you my Transformers Rescue Bots Academy students one-step toys which are awesome so make sure to check that video out at the end and keep remembering to stick with me through the end because we're getting ready to see bludgeon in just a second which should be awesome so there you go salvage he's pretty big and beefy compared to the rest he folds up into a cement truck easy transformation you just kind of pop him open here and out he goes Show that one more time. All right, this one's pretty neat. I like them. I think so far though, Soundwave's my favorite, although I do like the other one's looks. Okay, now we're on the final one that I've been waiting to show you, Bludgeon with a Whirlwind Slash. Hopefully it's a lot cooler than uh, the other one's little, little blaster there that didn't actually blast. But here's the back. Box is a little damaged, but it's like a double barrel tank, almost like Megatron or something. There's his little sword with his whirlwind slash attack. All right, let's take him out. All right, wow, look at how awesome this thing looks. Very cool. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely my favorite of the batch so far. So he's got, looks like a little sword, sword holder, which is that thing that you saw in his hand a second ago. So it just fits right there, which is cool. So that way you don't lose it. It should just kind of pop in. Oh, I was going to say it should just pop in there. Maybe it just takes a little finesse here. Stay. Okay, I got it. So, yeah, it's cool. You got a spot for it if you're not in robot mode. You're in tank mode. All right, let's take it out. Let's try to figure out how to um, transform him. Hopefully, he's not as difficult as Blur. There's a little skeleton head on the front I just showed you on the chest plate. All right, so it looks like 
you kind of pull the legs and oh yeah here it is the bottom legs you just kind of flip it that's easy yeah that's that's really easy so yeah push it in and then pull it out here's his close up it looks like he has a samurai helmet he's definitely a decepticon i love that skeleton chest plate there he is standing as tall as all the rest of them these uh turrets don't move which stinks the megatron turrets do move so which is cool uh let's see let me put that sword in his hand. I'm actually curious to see if those other peg holes and the other Transformers would fit an accessory. Yeah, look at that. Blur's got the sword now. And let's try uh, Soundwave, maybe see if he can hold it. That would be cool. They should start selling some accessories for these guys. That way you could just like have them battle with some extra stuff in their hands. All right, so put it back in Bludgeon's hand, who the sword belongs to for his whirlwind slash attack. All right. So his arm moves out like this, and then his wrist is independently mobile, and that's basically it for the Whirlwind Slash. Just kind of flick it in a circle. <laughs> that's kind of, whoa, it just kind of flew out there. Let me try it again. All right, let me get it in the hand. Yeah, so the, uh, the little attacks aren't super fancy, but hey, I guess it does something. There you go. Wee. All right. Now we'll move that back. I'm curious to see if the other hand does the same thing. It doesn't look like it moves as freely as the other. Yeah, the wrist doesn't spin. So if you just want him to hold the sword without it kind of like flinging all over the place, I kind of like it in this hand. He is really cool looking. All right, let me set him here. All right, this is the end of the video. Please don't forget to um, comment below which one's your favorite. And uh, subscribe, of course, that little subscribe button in the corner. Hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And thanks again for stopping by on Rock Time Toys.